Well, guys, not the usual garage today. I'm actually at a neighbor's house borrowing his lift because I am plugging away on Portage Prep 2021. And that involves all of this and that and not that. Yeah, it's finally happening. Transmission swap is well underway. I got the trans pulled out. I actually just finished pulling the uh, adapter plate off. And uh, yeah, she definitely needs a rear mainsail. She's been a little wet back here. So it's a good thing that I got one. I figured might as well do it while I have the trans out. Trans actually came out pretty easy. These Cummins trucks are so nice because they only have eight bolts on the bell housing and the bottom six you can easily get to from underneath the truck and then the top two you can actually see them from just opening up the hood. And the transmission mount in the back is nice and easy. It's just a matter of undoing the four nuts on the studs and it comes right out. But yeah, she needed a rear trans mount pretty bad too. And the wetness on the pan is just from me draining it. But I have a uh, NV4500 high speed manual out of a second gen. So I have a second gen adapter plate starter, second gen drive shaft, second gen bell housing and pretty much all the first gen stuff is going away um, the the carrier bearing is well it's hard to do one handed but it's, it's really shot bad enough that in places there's some uh, let me see right there where it's a little shiny let me get the camera just right dry shaft's actually been contacting the mount because the bearing is so bad so anyhow that's what's going on pretty much all this week. Check this out. This is from the leaking trans cooler. This is the AC condenser. And then that's the radiator behind it. It is just caked full of junk. Even the uh, core support itself, the front of the core support up here. I mean, it's, it's just caked full of this greasy, dirty transmission grime. So I'm gonna have to run the truck down to work when I get this thing done because then that way the truck will be up to temperature and the grease will all be nice and hot. I will have sprayed everything with gunk beforehand before going down to work and then I'll just pressure wash it. So essentially I have hot pressure washer just by having hot metal. So hopefully that'll clean it out but yeah we're making progress. I'm hoping that by the time I have to go back to work next week I'll be able to drive this truck hopefully but we will see. So that being said, time for me to get back to work.